Very good. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel from Miguel Rock Lab. We were working on different project today. We are gonna do a cleaning down here. Yes. Excuse me. I started cleaning this under this cage. We clean it at least one time a week. If it ain't get too bad, we clean it two times a week. The, for this video, we, we're gonna clean the rabbitry area and the chicken room. But I started down here on the rabbits. So the big cage and this one down here. Well, you see, I still got a long way down there to go. There's a trace I take it from under here. I gotta put it back down here. But I just gonna clean it a little bit right now. Go feed my dogs and order. You can make sure everybody else got food and water and come on back and finish this. Stay tuned. There's one. I got one low right there. What we do with this, we, we found out that they got a lot of worms. So we put them on a chicken run and Chickens uh, scratch and mix it with uh, all the ashes we put them in there, dust, sand, even with their manure. But this time we're going to put them down there with the chickens, uh, both places, because we got. Chicken down here and chickens and I order chicken run. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I uh, finished cleaning them up. Huh? The rabbitry area. And, uh, I'm going to show you what we put uh, after we clean it, every time we clean it, come to you close so you can see the white powder right there. See, I put it all the way down there, even under the under the cage. See, we put. Dot measures out. This what this white dust is, and we put a PDC. PDC is this granulate thing. This helps to uh, all the wet spots to help to control the control and eliminate ammonia ammonia odor but this is what it looks like you know, let me give something out of this is the dust mesh You can see the difference. And we do the same thing. Same thing on the chickens. So I 
got everything laid in here. I think everything's cleaned and cleaned up. Water, food. And the bag down there is Timothy Hay. And here is a well food. And then here, cost of Bermuda grass. Or oh, hair, whatever you call it. You see, we use the barrel. We cut the tops and put the barrel inside. We cover them up with a chicken feed bag and put the top on top. Of it. Goes down here. This when you do like this, use in case of rain, the protect from the weather. Same thing with quail food, same thing on the chicken food. And then here we got our rabbit pad, as you can see. We do the same thing down here. Down here, I apologize for my hands being dirty. Even my clothes is dirty, but I can smell my hands, smell like rubbing manure. But hey, you take care of animals. You gonna be smell like whatever you touch it. I know some people don't like that part cleaning, but it's what it takes. The animals choose us. The animals don't, sorry, the animals don't choose us. We choose them to come on with us. I mean, we're the, we're the ones that make the decision to eat the rabbit, raise it, and for whatever purpose we want. So, what we try to do down here, we try to keep it safe. You can see we put body cages. We buy the food, Timothy Hay, cost of Bermuda grass, plus their health, water, we want to make sure they have a good life the time they spend down here with us. Even now that we know there's going to be a meat rabbit. But some of them probably go somewhere or with a family or We don't know yet how to talk to my wife about it, see what she said. We always discuss every time and what she thinks, what I think, and uh, Whatever the decision is, and we go from there. Well, guys, I hope you like watching our videos. Hey, you do.
please like, share, and subscribe to help our channel grow. We try to make our channel grow one subscriber at a time. I know it's, it's going to be hard because we started from zero. And it is hard to to be subscribers unless you have a somebody helping you. Um, do a collaboration with you, but uh, it's gonna work. Sooner or later, we, we're going to get more subscribers. I have faith. And my wife say, you, you know, she always tell me, you know normally get up, give up that easy. And she's right. I don't normally give up that easy. Well, guys, as you can see, we, we provide every time the rabbits need so they have a good life down here with us yeah. we have fans lights food water every time they need is down here well now i'm going how are you longer? Excuse me. If you like our video, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and one more time. Um, it's, it's sad for, for me to tell this happened. my wife suffering a stroke down here on the homestead and thank God that I, I she was down here feeding the rabbit I was feeding that down there feeding the chickens and when I hear her She screaming, and I, I hear her. She fell on top of her. one slab close to the mohawk. So I throw every time on the ground and come on the outside and try to help her. Even if I don't, I don't able to help her. I try to do my best to keep her calm, keep her awake. I don't want her to go to sleep. Well, we, we're praying for her and I ask everybody out there to keep her on your prayers because suffer on a stroke is it's not a good thing I'm talking because I'm I've been there I suffered that for one year and I I know it's not gonna be easy but we are gonna keep her in our prayers and I ask everybody, all our subscribers, to keep pouring your prayers. God bless every one of you guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.